Alrighty, made it through another week. Welcome back. We're on Exodus chapter 31 today. And I don't know if you guys are following the news, but there is a lot of prophetic activity going on. So keep your eyes on Israel. Um, a lot going down these days. Okay, verse 1. Now the Lord spoke to Moses saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, and in all kinds of craftsmanship, to make artistic designs for work in gold, in silver, and in bronze, and in the cutting of stones for setting, and in the carving of wood, that he may work in all kinds of craftsmanship. So God appointed a toolman from the tribe of Judah and gave him special skills to do uh, magnif magnificent artwork. Pretty great blessing to get right there. Verse 6, And behold, I myself have appointed with him Oholiab, the son of Ahizamach, um, of the tribe of Dan. And in the hearts of all who are skillful, I have put skill, that they may make all that I have commanded you, the tent of meeting, and the ark of testimony, and the mercy seat upon it, and all the furniture of the tent, the table also and its utensils, and the pure gold lampstand with all its utensils and the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering also with all its utensils, and the laver and its stand, the woven garments as well, and the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons, uh, with which to carry on their priesthood. And so now we're seeing all the designs being put in motion here. Verse 11. The anointing oil also, and the fragrant incense for the holy place, they are to make them according to all that I have commanded you. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, But as for you, speak to the sons of Israel, saying, You shall surely observe my Sabbaths, for this is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that you may know that I am the Lord who sanctifies you. Therefore you are to observe the Sabbath, for it is holy to you. Everyone who profanes it shall surely be put to death. For whoever does any work on it, that person shall be cut off from among his people." Again, the Sabbath was um, the sign of the covenant that made Israel a theocracy. It was a test of the nation's commitment to God. It was based on God's resting after his work of uh, creation in six days. Because the nation was in a covenant relationship with him, the people were to do as he had done. The Sabbath marked Israel out as God's people. Verse 15, For six days work may be done, but on the seventh day there is a Sabbath of complete rest, Holy to the Lord, whoever does any work on the Sabbath day shall surely be put to death. So the sons of Israel shall observe the Sabbath to celebrate the Sabbath throughout their generations as a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the sons of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, but on the seventh day he ceased from labor and was refreshed. When he had finished speaking with him upon Mount Sinai, he gave Moses the two tablets of the testimony, tablets of stone, written by the finger of God. All right, shorter chapter, but uh, a good one. And looking forward to tomorrow. Hope you guys uh, keep on keeping on, and thanks for being here. God bless you.